to put back the, the time horizon of the mass adoption of autonomous driving vehicles, mm. uh, I think people tend to be super optimistic at the beginning and suddenly become very pessimistic. But I think that shouldn't be the case either, because uh, if you uh, uh, all the guests in the NASA area, you'll definitely see we have uh, uh, almost 30 vehicles testing the whole uh, NASA area, even in the busy rush hours. So you'll see the vehicles actually being able to handle complex driving situations and uh, very, very complex driving scenarios. Yeah, but so, James, this, isn't it at the end of the day that Nirvana is not autonomous driving vehicles for us? It's long haul trucks and things of that nature. I mean, that's where the real benefit is. Like, I don't really, you know, I, I, I don't care about jumping in a car and driving for 15 or 20 minutes. Like, I don't, you know, I'm not gonna need a, autonomous driving for 15 or 20 minutes, but if, if I'm a truck driver and I have to go from, Phoenix, Arizona to Chicago and drive across Nebraska and Utah and all those other states, I'll get the wrong ones in the middle, um, mm. for hours and hours and the regulations make me pull over and I can only drive for a certain amount of time and I can have that truck be autonomous. I mean, that would be, that would be the amazing uh, the, the breakthrough rather than Edith and I being able to drive, you know, around the streets in, of uh, Nansha to, you know, in a, in a, in a car. No, it's both, right? It, I know it's both, but I think that the, the, you know, the trucks are, are, in my mind, the truck is much more uh, the, 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 the better you know, path for a lot of people. No, I think the trucks, uh, the passenger vehicles, the, the short range delivery vehicles. Yeah, that, I agree I, with I that. think all of those are definitely, has a, there's a big market for them to be yeah, short range delivery, especially here in China, would be amazing, right? Yeah. But, but, but the, the fundamental technology is the same. It's all the same. The, the way to make them scalable is the same. The, mm -hmm. the way to actually, how do you efficiently manufacture this type of vehicles is the same. So, so I, I'll say there's a benefit as well. Also for, for the uh, passenger vehicles, the, the thing that not everyone has the luxury to access to them, right? In a way, it may not everyone owns a vehicle. Also, it's a big hassle to own, to own a passenger vehicle. That's a millennial. So, so that's a can, millennial thing, right? That's a, that's our children who who don't want to own a car because they they can you know use a D, go jump in Didi all day long. So what we learnt, I think, is that you need to be adaptable to local situations. I think your experience of the difference between running your cars on Chinese roads vs running your cars on American roads is very instructive because people behave differently when it comes to road manners <laughs> here and in the United States.